Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the object-oriented software development concepts. The OOSD is a simple way to develop software by building self-contained modules or objects that can be easily replaced, modified and reused. In an object-oriented environment, software is a collection of discrete objects that encapsulate their data as well as the functionality to model real-world objects. An object orientation yields important benefit to the practices of software construction. Each object has attributes known as data and methods known as functions. Objects are grouped into classes. In object-oriented system, everything is an object and each object is responsible for itself. For example, Windows application needs Windows objects that can open themselves on screen and either display something or accept input. The Windows object is responsible for things like opening, sizing, closing, etc. When a Windows display something, that something is an object. For example, a chart, a document file or something. A chart object is responsible for maintaining its data and labels and even for drawing itself. So my dear students, when we are reviewing an object, the object-oriented system development makes software development easier and more natural by raising the level of abstraction to the point where application can be implemented. The name object was chosen because everyone knows what is an object is the real question is what do objects have to do with system development rather than what is an object so when it comes to the object a class is an object in the real world entity identifiably separate from its surrounding a car has a well-defined set of attributes in relation to other object. So, for example, when we are considering a car as an object, the attribute or data of a car are color, manufacturer, cost, owner, model, cost, etc. etc. And when it comes to the method or function, the different methods are driving a car, locking a car, towing a car, carrying passengers etc the different methods available in a car so what the attribute mean is data of an object as well as properties of an object the methods are procedures of an object or behavior of an object the term object was for formal utilized in the similar language the term object means a combination or data and logic that represent some real-world entity. When developing an object-oriented application, two basic questions arise. They are, what objects does the application need? And secondly, what functionality should those objects have? Programming in an object-oriented system consists of adding new kind of objects to the system and defining how they behave. The new object classes can be built from the objects supplied by the object-oriented system. For example, the object state and properties or attributes means the properties represent the state of an object. In an object-oriented methods, we want to refer to the description of these properties rather than how they are represented in a particular programming language. We could represent each property in several ways in a programming language. For example, color. It can be declared as a character to store sequence of characters, example like red, blue or any other color. Or it can be declared as a number to store the stock number of paint. For example, red paint, blue paint, yellow paint, etc. And it also can be declared as image or video file to refer full color video image. The importance of this distinction is that an object abstract state can be independent of its physical representation. 
So my dear students, these are the different aspects of object oriented software development. So my dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is write notes on object oriented software development. So dear students, in the upcoming lectures, we are discussing the continuation of this portion. In the upcoming lecture, we are discussing object behavior and methods. So my dear students, stay tuned. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.